alongside the uh, Honda CRZ. I'm joining you with Nick, who owns this beast. It, uh, it's it's not quite um, stock anymore, is it? It's had a few no. modifications, and uh, yeah, we've, we've finally got around. It started to rain, unfortunately, but um, we live in Britain. What do you expect? It's always raining, really. One minute it's bright sunny skies, the next it's heavens are opening. Um, so first of all, awesome car. And thank you for joining on the channel. So what? How long have you actually owned this car for now? Uh, been six years. Six years now. Yeah. Um, and, and within that time, how long did you did it take for you to start doing slight little months to it and, and oh. make what it is now? Well, as you said, it, I was going to try and keep it as dark for as long as possible. I three year warranty was up. Yeah. Then I started messing around with it. But it happened before that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I uh, got the spoiler fitted, got the grill, but all that's kind of went now and there's new bits onto it. Just get carried away. Yeah. So you've got the wing on the back there as well. Yeah. Which is uh, pretty sweet. Uh, what wheels are on this at the minute? Uh, 18 inch rotors. Rotors. And obviously you've sprayed them that green as well. Yeah. So I'm right in thinking you've had multiple colours on the wheels. The wheels have been pretty much nearly every colour under the sun. Yeah. But fitted they've been black, gold and green. Right. But there have been lots of colours between that as well. Yeah. That's now currently the green, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and I've got a lovely set of purple ones for the stock 16s for winter. Nice. So you got some proper winter set, set yeah. of wheels for... Yeah, so you plan on taking it, because this is your daily, isn't it? Yeah. So for winter side of things, it's always best to have something like that. Um, exhaust wise, obviously it's a bit of a, a nice sounding exhaust you've got back there. Yeah, it's I took it over to Advanced Automotive Solutions and uh, they've a custom set up for us. Mm -hmm. It's 55mm from the header backwards. Yeah. With a nice twin exit. It sounds nice like that. Uh, it's not too droney at all. No. It's just nice when you start setting it away a bit, it kicks in and it kind of asked us what I wanted from the exhaust and I just hear something that makes it sound a little bit meatier than a 1.5. I think you said that you got it, yeah, it's good. Um, and obviously this car has no slab, so what power is this currently running now? It's about 140 brake. It's probably pushing about 150, 155 torque. Right. It's pretty, pretty good actually. And the stock, it's about 124, isn't it? It's 124, 134 pound of torque. Right. And what kind of modifications have you done to get it to where it is now? Uh, there's the Takeda induction kit, got the Spoon Sports G8 manifold, which is out of the 1.5 American Jazz, mm -hmm. or as the Americans like to call it, the Fit. Yeah. Uh, obviously a T-Cat, and then there's the exhaust. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much took it up there. It doesn't actually take that much to get them up there, does no. it? That's pretty good. Um, interior wise, there's a few things in here that I have to believe you've done as well. Yeah, I've got the double dead head unit. Yeah. And apart from that, it's wired a couple of LEDs. Everything else, pretty much everything else is either being flocked out of coat of paint. Mm -hmm. You get rid of the horrible grey plastic. Yeah, it's not ideal, is it? What kind of future modifications are you thinking of, of going for? Well, at this? the minute, before you pulled up, I was busy looking at seats. Right. It's the baby on the way. The idea is trying to get some aftermarket seats, which should give us a little bit more room to get a baby in the back. Yeah. I hope that goes well, mate. <laughs> I should. It's, I've, I've worked it out. The seats I'm looking at are half the depth of the ones I've got right on the, the back. So, should fit comfortably in once yeah. I'm sorted. Definitely look pretty cool in here with the proper seats in and all that. It's, yeah. Don't get us wrong though, these stock seats are pretty nice as well. Do yeah. have a sort of buggy look to them, but we're still a stock kind of. For a stock seat, you are quite comfortable, and when you consider it's literally just aesthetics, what the seats are for. Yeah, exactly. Um, spoiler on the back. Yes. Um, what make is that one? It's Mugen. It's Mugen, isn't it? That's right. Um, so, body work wise, you went for aesthetics. Yeah. Primarily, so what aesthetic parts have you got on? There's. What's this boiler? Was? Suzuki part right on the front, which is the front bumper, which yep. is Suzuki's only Suzuki Monster Sport. Right. Uh, under CRC, front bumper. Uh, 
RS vents on the bonnet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a Rex styling lip kit with the rear diffuser, the front lip. Yeah. The front lip hasn't been fitted yet because I'm scared to drill into me new front bumper. <laughs> Just keep them 